Which is sixth? This one. Okay, and which is third? That one. Okay, now how many sixths and one third? Two. Right. Now find out how many sixths there are in two thirds and three thirds. Then go back to your paper. Right. Okay. Hi, Sandy. Hi. Those are report cards? I'll give them out after school. To take home to your parents. To my father. To your father. He gives me a quarter for every A. you did at home last night? Try it again, slowly. Let's see where the trouble is. The baby gorilla was born yesterday at the city zoo, and it's the first time they've ever breeded a gorilla baby at our zoo. And we'll try and see that baby gorilla in a few weeks. OK, who else has news? Sandy? Denzel was jeopardized with the relations that the agreement between the United States and the Soviet Union to limit stress. Sandy, maybe you should just try and tell us about the article. I think I'd better read it. My father says it's very important news. So what do you do with a kid like that? You forget him until tomorrow. You know, we've got company coming in an hour and a half. I know, I know, but I can't forget him. Father's probably giving him hell right now for only getting one A. You think too much. Every kid's parent thinks they don't get enough A's. You want to make the salad or the compost? The salad. Well, it's a father's own fault. He does have the homework, and the kid's always confused. Get in, will you? We'll talk about it on the way home. I want to at least take a shower before the guys walk in. Damn. I bet that's Victor saying he can't come. He'll come. Wait. Hello? Why, yes, just a minute, please. It's for you. It's a man with a very sexy voice. Not Sam? Definitely not Sam. Hmm. Hello? Miss Paslowski? My name is John McNaughton. I'm Sandy McNaughton's father. Yes, Mr. McNaughton? I have his report card here with a note that says it must be signed and returned to school tomorrow morning. That's right. We keep them on file. Well, I refuse to sign it. You gave him C's in subjects where every homework paper was an A. Mr. McNaughton, a great many factors go into grading. Homework is only a small part of it. I don't care what your system is, Miss Paslowski. It's wrong, and this report card will never go into Sandy's permanent file. Mr. McNaughton, I can understand why you're so upset, but I'd really prefer to discuss this with you at school, where we can sit down with Sandy's file in front of us. Please, let's schedule a conference. Miss Paslowski, I went to a lot of trouble to get your home phone number so I could talk to you about this this evening. Now, Sandy is very upset. He got nearly straight A's last year. If we could just sit down with Sandy's file in front of us, I'd be glad to explain my evaluations to you. Do you refuse to talk to me about this now? Mr. McNaughton, all I'm suggesting is that we sit down together with all the relevant materials in front of us. Please, let's schedule a conference. All right. I'll be in your classroom at 7.30 sharp tomorrow morning. Mr. McNaughton, Mr. McNaughton? Is that the 
one you were so worried about? The nerve of this man. First he waggles my home phone number. Then he accuses me of total misjudgment of his kid. Then he says I won't talk to him. And then he orders me to be at school at the crack of dawn. And then he hangs up on you, right? Right. You know what I think you should do? What? Make the salad. Huh? And forget about McNaughton. Don't let him ruin your evening. But he's climbing all over that kid. He'll destroy him. Fill it. Hey, where's the mother in all this? She died about a year ago. I suppose I should be more sympathetic. Well, I don't see why. Especially if he's putting his own kid in a pressure cooker. Good morning, Mr. McNaughton. Won't you come in? I'm awfully glad you could make it. Thank you. Here's your report card. Unsigned. Thank you. And here are the papers that I hope will clarify the grades on that report card. And here are some papers that I hope will change the grades on that report card. I've been hoping to have a conference with you. Hoping? I was planning to call you this week. Well, I'm here this morning because I called you. Now, let's get to this report card. Briefly, Mr. McNaughton, there are rather large discrepancies between the work that Sandy brings in from home and the work he does at school. For example, here's a spelling test that we had the day after Sandy got an A on homework using the same words. But that's impossible. He knew these words cold. I drilled him on them. But, Mr. McNaughton, the assignment was to use the words in a sentence, to learn them by using them. We did that, too. We... He worked a long time on them. Well, Sandy's reading is good, strong grade level. Here are the results of his standardized tests. Well, if his reading is good, why did you give him a C? For Mr. McNaughton, many factors go into a reading grade. And Sandy has read very few books during the grading period. He reads at home all the time. We read together. We read books, magazines, newspaper articles. And when you read at home, Mr. McNaughton, how do you select the books and the articles? We read things that are worthwhile for him. Would you come with me, Mr. McNaughton? Over here, I have Sandy's blackboard work from yesterday. He stood here and struggled with problems he'd done perfectly on his homework the night before. Mr. McNaughton, did Sandy ask for help with this work? I always help him when he doesn't understand, Miss Peslowski. And there are many nights when he needs help. Just whose fault is that, do you think? What? Whose fault is what? Whose fault is it that he doesn't understand how to do his homework? Is this the way you teach all the time, Miss Peslowski? It's how the way I teach. In this disorganized classroom? It's not disorganized at all. It's like no classroom I ever learned anything in. Where there isn't even a desk for a child to sit in. Maybe this classroom is the reason that Sandy got A's last year and can't seem to learn anything this year. This classroom is designed to allow each student to work at his highest level, Sandy included. His highest level? You're not trying to tell me that Sandy is working at his highest level. Mr. McNaughton, please, I don't even know what Sandy's level is this early in the year. But I know we can work together to improve his grades without him feeling so pressured. Pressured? Now you're accusing me of pressuring him. Just how do I pressure him? It's just that if you're teaching Sandy one thing and I'm teaching him another, he's bound to feel pressured. Please come to my desk a moment, Mr. McNaughton. We have to make an appointment for another conference. When can you come in again, Mr. McNaughton? I know we can work out a plan. I don't know what good another conference can do, Miss Peslowski. But, Mr. McNaughton, we just got started. Really, there's a lot we can do. Uh, boys and girls, bring your chairs into a circle. Let's get started, all right? Has everybody read the poem from last night? Yeah. 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 How'd you like it? It was pretty good. Lewis Carroll was sort of an unusual man, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, does anybody know enough of the poem to recite some of it for us? Mm. Mm. Well. How do I arrange a transfer of a student from one class to another? Well, what class is your child in? Fourth, Paslowski. I want him changed to a different class. What is your child's name? McNaughton. Sandy McNaughton. Well, the usual procedure, Mr. McNaughton, is to speak with the principal. Now, I'll be happy to make an appointment for you with Mrs. Gordon. I'll see her now. Is she in her office? Mrs. Gordon's schedule is booked very tightly this morning. Now, I believe she could see you tomorrow. Look, I've wasted enough time already today. If I've got to see the principal to get a decent teacher for my son, then I'm going to sit right here until I see her. Well, she's either going to walk in or out of that office, isn't she? Hey, Jean. Hi. Listen, I need to talk to you, quick. Surprise birthday for somebody? No, I want to ask you about a boy you had in your class last year, Sandy McNaughton. What about him? His father's upset about the report card I gave him. Oh, slow down. You're going to hurt somebody. Well, what kind of grades did you give him? the best I could. Mostly C's with a couple of B's. He's very erratic. But his father says you gave him straight A's last year. This really isn't the place to talk about it. Yeah, but did you give him mostly A's? Well, yes, I did. Right after his first report card, when his father came in and read me the riot act. He raised the his grades because the father squirreled. Give him another chance. Hey, wait a minute, Jean. Now you raised Sandy's grades because of pressure from his father? Uh -huh. Why? Look, Sandy's mother had just died. The kid's only eight years old. I had to get the father off the kid's back for the rest of the year and off mine. I thought it would be best for all of us if I raised his grades. But, Jean, what am I supposed to do now? Sandy is not an A student. Hey, Miss Paslowski, gonna... can we go in now? I don't know, but I just didn't think Sandy could take it with both me and his father pushing on him. I'll be right there, Charlie. Listen, Jean, I've really got to talk to you about this. You can come in now, Mr. McNaughton. Miss Paslowski, please come to the office. Miss Paslowski, please come to the office. Go to the classroom, boys and girls. I'll send someone to watch the class until I get back. Now, everybody work on something quietly until I come. I'll only be a minute. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, Sandy. Your dad and I will work it all out. We'll have a good year, I promise. Hey, honey, you look worried. Don't let them put me in the other fourth grade class. I want to stay in your class, even if I'm not doing so good. I've asked Mrs. Dunlap to take your class. 